Assalamu alaikum in this video tutorial we are going to discuss about sacrum bone the sacrum bone is a part of the spine that lies between the fifth number vertebra this is sacrum bone the sacrum bone lies between the fifth number vertebra and a coccyx bone sacrum consists of five fused sacral vertebra s1 to s5 and sacrum is triangular in shape Sacrum is a part of the pelvic girdle and forms the posterior wall of pathways and articulate with the iliac bones at the sarcoiliac joint. This is sacrum. Here it is forming the posterior wall of the pelvis and articulating with the iliac bone at the sarcoiliac joints. The function of the sacrum bone is to surround and protect the spinal nerves of the lower back as they wind their way inferiorly toward the ends of the trunk and into the legs. On the other way, the sacrum helps to form the pelvic cavity that supports and protects the delicate organs of the abdominal pelvic cavity and provides space for a fetus to pass through during childbirth. Now if we take a view of sacrum bone, here we have a sacrum bone. The sacrum contains base, apex and three other surfaces. This is pelvic surface, this is lateral surface and this is posterior surface of sacrum bone. The base of the sacrum is broad and expanded and it is directed upward and forward. This is sacral promotory. This broad end structure is sacral promotory. The sacral promotory is the broad end part of sacrum and it makes the border of pelvic inlet. The apex of sacrum contains oval shaped facet for the articulation with the coccyx bone. This is the pelvic surface of the sacrum. The pelvic surface of sacrum contains four transverse ridges. These are four transverse ridges which corresponds to the side of the fusion of vertebra. Here, sacral vertebra fuse together and form a single bone which is sacrum. On either side at each transverse ridges, four anterior sacral foramina are present these are anterior sacral foramina these anterior sacral foramina provides an exit to the anterior division of the sacral nerves and serve as the entrance to the lateral sacral arteries four shallow grooves are also present at the pelvic surface of the sacrum these are four shallow grooves now talking about the dorsal surface of the sacrum this is the dorsal surface of the sacrum the dorsal surface of the sacrum is convex and narrower than the pelvic surface the pelvic surface is concave and the dorsal surface of the sacrum is convex in shape the dorsal surface of the sacrum bone contains a median sacral crest this midline structure is known as median sacral crest and here four tuberosities are present these four tuberosities representing the fusion of the spinous process of the sacral vertebra lateral to the median sacral crest intermediate sacral crest are present these two are intermediate sacral crest and lateral to it are the lateral sacral crest these two are lateral sacral crest similarly to the pelvic surface of the sacrum here we have uh, posterior sacral foramina here we have anterior anterior sacral foramina here we have uh, posterior sacral foramina this groove shaped structure is known as sacral tuberosity this groove is known as sacral tuberosity and at the top of the dorsal surface of the sacrum here 
triangular shaped structure is known as sacral cana this triangular space is known as sacral cana and at the apex of the dorsal surface of sacrum here we have a sacral hiatus this is space is known as sacral hiatus and at both sides of the sacral hiatus sacral como is present these two u shaped structure is known as sacral como the sacral hiatus is a passageway for the fifth sacral nerve and a pair of coccygeal nerve now the lateral surface of the sacrum this is the lateral surface of the sacrum the lateral surface of the sacrum is broad above but narrows into a thin edge at the pedo the first three sacral vertebra have transverse processes which together forms a wide lateral wings called ala this is known as ala the lateral surface of the sacrum is also known as auricular surface because the ala of the sacrum resembles an ear